I'm Flynn with Ballantine Gear. We provide non-penetrating fall protection systems for workers on sloped roof residential homes. We like to show you our new ebook. Looks good, but how strong is it? Over 9,700 pounds. Yes, but what about reality? Just saved a 310 pound worker from a certain disaster, and another one. Wait, that would be two, from the same horizontal lifeline. But how hard is it to set up? Let's say on a two-story home with an 812 slope and asphalt shingles. Fire a guideline across the roof to pull over your heavier lifeline that is attached to an EVA. From the opposite side, grab the line and pull your rope across. If you have two people, once the line is taut, one person can lift the evoke and the other can pull the evoke with the rope. Made from an aerospace grade aluminum and under 20 pounds, the evoke is much lighter than it looks. Once you get it to the roof, set the evoke on the eave and the ground person will pull and hold it there. Because of the friction of the rope against the roof, it is easy for the person holding the rope to keep the evoke in place. If you don't have two people, on most houses you can still install with only one person with the assistance of a wedge. Now that you have an evoke on one side of the house, you can attach another evoke to the rope on the opposite side of the house with a progress capture device and attach it to the eave. It's time to go to work now. Climb the ladder, protected from falls. A big deal if you're climbing above concrete. At the top of the ladder, you step onto the roof. Protected! I hate getting on or off of a roof with just a ladder. It's Russian roulette every time. Once you're on the roof, it almost seems too easy. You know that you always have to be careful when working at heights, but when you're working with a system that will protect you and is easy to use, it just doesn't seem believable. By the way, it is only easy if you know what you are doing and only safe if you're doing it right. A wise old rope worker once said, I have all my fingers and all my toes. The secret is knowing what you're doing, doing it right, and using common sense. So where is it the most difficult to protect a roof worker from falls? On the corners. We've got you covered. 